Hey, welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the staging option within your site route account for your website. And if you don't know what a staging of option is, I will show you right now. First thing you have to do is log in into your site ground account. After that, you can click on this tab over here with websites. Then you can go to the site tools panel for your website in this case, because this is the, the site ground uh, account that I only use for this tutorial. But if you have multiple websites, then they all will be displayed over here and you can click on the site tools panel for the website that you want to go to. So in this case, it's only one. I click on it. And now I will be, uh, now I will go to the site tools panel and over here you can see if you click on WordPress on the WordPress option. If you go to the menu, you can see the staging option over here. Only thing you have to do is click on it. And what a staging copy basically is, is the name says it all is it is a copy of your website. So in this case, this is the website. Uh, that we're talking about. It's this one. I have created it. Uh, I have all kind of tutorials that you can see over here. It's also uh, displayed on my YouTube channel. I have uh, basically uh, made videos from the entire process on how to create this website uh, in full detail. So if you uh, want to know how that's uh, done, make sure to check it out. But let's say uh, I want uh I want to do some changes for this website or maybe this is a website for a customer of, of, uh, of mine and they want to update the website and they want to add some new features to it. Then the best thing to do is to make a copy of this website. Then I will do the changes on the test environment as you may call it or the copy. And if the customer or yourself, if you're completely satisfied, and everything is as you want it to be, then you can uh, set the staging copy back to the live website. So uh, this is very easy because um, if you make changes and the customer is not satisfied, for example, or they are not happy with the result, then you don't have to go back to the live website and set everything back again. Um, so the, the live website stays as it is. You can make sure that all the changes are done in the staging copy and when everything is fine and everything is completely as the customer or yourself want it to be then you can um, set it back to the live website staging copy with just one click so i hope that's a little bit clear uh, for me it's kind of this difficult to um, express myself sometimes in english because it's not my native language as you may have heard from my accent i'm from uh, the netherlands so but i will try it because in the previous tutorials i I have written down all the text in Dutch and make sure to translate it to English and then uh, make sure everything was uh, correct, uh, as, uh, correct as possible uh, and how uh, everything uh, for the grammar and all that. Um, but now I want to learn how to speak English from the top of my head. So that's what I'm doing right now. So if I'm uh, making some mistakes uh, here and there, forgive me. And the only uh, way to get better in speaking English is just by doing it. And that's what I'm doing now. So let me show you how to do it. You go to the staging option. Over here you can fill in a name for your staging website. And this can be whatever you want it to be. It's only visible for yourself. So it doesn't really matter what it is. For example, I will call this uh, staging uh, website. Uh, like this and then only thing you have to do is click on the orange create button so let me do that right now now you see uh, this option over here addition additional items detected there are files or for for there of there are files or folders in your site that are not part of the standard wordpress structure select which of the items below you wish to include in the station in the staging I will leave it as it is, click on confirm, and then you have to wait for a moment. Everything is being processed, 
usually it is done within a couple of seconds so it's usually very fast and over there it's done already so now you see the staging for the staging website as I have called this uh, this uh, staging um, site is created we strongly recommend that your that you uh, password protect your staging site to prevent visitors from accessing them so it's also possible to set up a password for this staging website so that only people who will enter the password can visit it because if you are working for a website for yourself or for a client uh, and it's just basically a test website then you don't want everybody on the internet um, yeah, just to go to that website and see what you're doing over there. So that's why you can protect it with a password. And um, it's very easy. You just uh, click over here. And then you can set a password over there. But for now, I will not uh, I will not do this because it's very... Uh, yeah, basically, uh, you only have to fill in a username and a password. And then click on protect. And then the password will be added. So it's nothing difficult about that. But I will uh, delete this uh, staging copy in a few minutes after I'm done with this tutorial, so I won't uh, do it right now. But uh, all the steps are uh, for uh, all the next steps are exactly the same. So now the staging website, as you can see over here, is created. And when you want to log in into that staging website, it's just the same icon as uh, that you have when you click on over here, install and manage, and you will log into your main website. But the only difference is now you go to staging. And then you click on this icon over here. What this will do, it will open an, an, a new window. And as you can see, now this is not secure. So if you want to fix that, that's also very easy to do. Only thing you have to do is go to the SSL manager. Now you can select the domain with the staging. And that's this one over here. Um, I also had a, had a, um, a couple of days ago or weeks ago I also created another staging site with an um, SSL certificate but now I can delete this one so that's gone and you can select your domain over here and um, in this case it's staging 6 uh, with a dot and then tutorials for wordpress.com because this is, uh, I have created previous staging uh, sites when I was creating all the tutorials for uh, for the YouTube channel. It doesn't matter. You just select the staging site that you have just created. Then you have to select the Let's Encrypt and click on Get. And all the steps are basically exactly the same as uh, when you uh, request a, a SSL certificate for your uh, primary doma domain. But it uh, doesn't really matter. So you can... Um, Proceed. And when the cert uh, SSL certificate is requested, then of course this will be secure and also the, the, the padlock uh, is being displayed. But as you can see, now this is just basically a copy of the main, of the primary website that I have duplicated. So over here you go to uh, pages for example you can see the home page click on it as you can see we now have the full home page with all the details over here and it's exactly the same as this one the primary website and what you can do now is you can uh, you can change things so uh, fill in another text for text for example or you can change the color you can add certain things you can uh, delete certain things uh, whatever whatever uh, it is that you want to do you can do it in the staging uh, environment you can click on update now all the settings have been uh, saved for the staging uh, environment and let's say now I'm uh, completely happy with everything how it is and I want to use this staging copy for my primary domain for the live website how you can do that is very easy also only thing you have to do is go back to your site tools panel go to staging 
over here you can click on these three dots and now you have a few options you can full deploy and when you do full deploy then the complete website that is now um, set up in the staging environment will be transferred over to the live website so all the changes that you've done will be visible then for the live website so that's basically how it works i will not do it for now because i'm happy with uh with the site with the primary site as it is so this was just for for an example but the only thing you have to do is click on this button and that's it so there are no further steps involved that's the only thing you have to do maybe you have to confirm it when you click it but, that, but that's it so no further steps are needed to to, uh, to fix that and for example, if you want to delete this staging uh, website, uh, and you can of course create another one later on, but uh, to the delete this is very easy. So you click on the three dots again to, sh uh, to view this menu, and then you can just click on destroy. After that, you can confirm it, boom, and now the staging uh, website is gone again. So that's how it works. I hope this tutorial is clear for you. and. Um, it's very, uh, it's a very helpful future that SiteGround uh, has to offer. Everybody can do this. So good luck with this. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and um, stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you, and have a nice day.